it's Sean with another Primal Path tutorial, and today we're going to get into Simulation Dynamics in Cinema 4D. So we have a blank document. We are going to want to build the floor because you cannot dribble a basketball on nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go just adjacent to the Deformers tab. We have a floor button. We want to left click that and just leave that for now. We're going to basically build the objects, the primitives that will be bouncing off of this floor. So we're going to go into the primitives tab, we're going to create a cube, and we're going to lift it up so it has some room to, to fall down. And we're going to create a sphere. You can create whatever primitives you guys want. I'm just doing this to show you the different outcomes. We're going to create a, a figurine, and that's in the primitives tab. We're going to raise it up. So now we have all these different primitives. They're all there. And what we're going to want to do to create them and make them dynamic is we're going to right click the floor in the objects panel. You're going to right click it, and we have all these different tags we can apply to it, but we're going to look for the simulation tags right here, and we're going to find collider body, because we want the floor to be colliding with things, so it makes sense to add that. We're going to just left click that, and there you have it. You can see a tag. Just as there's following tags, we can see a dynamics body expression, dynamics body tag right there. And for the objects, what we're going to want to do is go click on the cube or whatever primitives you have and right click them just as you did the floor. Go down to simulation tags, but instead of collider body, we want these to be rigid, solid. So we're going to left click rigid body on the cube and we're going to do that to all our objects. So we can go down to simulation tag, click collider, or, uh, rigid body, sorry. And if uh, you're too lazy to do that, you can basically, you can just duplicate this tag and just drag it on by control clicking and dragging back onto the figurine. So now we have all of these tags set up. We have a collider tag and we have a rigid body tag. To show this, make sure at the beginning of the timeline and now all you have to do is press play. And each dynamics tag there's parameters that you can change and alter the outcome of the the simulation we can change the bounce we can change the friction collision noise so let's make this more bouncy we can change the tags on the rigid we can go less friction more bounce and now let's go to the beginning of the timeline just click right here to go to start and all we're going to do is press the play button again to watch our amazing little simulation. Bounce. See a little bit more bounce now? There you have it, guys. Dynamic simulation in Cinema 4D.